All right, let's go. Come on. Beast mode activated. All right, I just washed the windows off the 76 because it was really dirty. But I think we're ready to go out and I'm about to go, uh, someone's standing down there. I don't know if that's a subscriber or what. But I'm about to go out and uh, mow some stuff. Maybe I should go uh, knock down that tree down by the driveway and give those subscribers a real good view of the new Rhino mower. All right. Let's go make their day, shall we? Adios, tree. <laughs> Surrounded down right to the ground. <laughs> some of the smaller brush basically such as all of the stuff around here that just kind of slowly works its way out in the pasture and creeps out into the grass over time it has a tendency to grow up and then you lose pasture ground to trees so uh, I'm gonna just kind of do this whole circle here and oh well there's a good target it's a locust tree right there you can never get too close to those I'm gonna go wipe it out
Well, I just got done putting the Rhino MDB 130 through the ringer, and it does its job optimally. It's really good for mowing ditch banks. Um, it also actually is pretty good for like picking the mower up and then setting it down on a giant bush or a small tree <laughs> and completely just basically just grinding it right down to the ground. I don't think they're, it's really meant for that, but just it does its job uh, pretty good. Uh, I didn't really have any issues with it. Uh, I probably gave it a little bit more stress than what it was intended for. Uh, I.e. it hit a couple trees, um, not just going forwards, which it has a safety built in for that, but I also backed it into a couple trees as well, and it hasn't really deformed the mower at all, and I mean, I didn't really uh, try to bend it or anything, but um, I know that I, through some of that thick and heavy brush as you're backing through it, uh, you run into a few trees, so I don't know. I like the mower. If there's one thing that Rhino does right, it's their mowers. If you go out and need a, if you need a rotary mower of any kind, or a flex wing mower, or a ditch bank mower, get a Rhino. You won't regret it. Um, I'm not, and that's not just because they sponsor our channel or anything, but these mowers, after I, I've tried and tested them, uh, after a full year, I will admit that these mowers are built to last, no matter what you put them through. So, um, with that, I'll let you all go. Next thing I need to do with the 4155 is I need to take it out and kind of just mow down in all the places we didn't cut down out in the pasture. And then I need to follow up with this thing again to just kind of extend my reach. Because with this thing, before I go through and hit it with the 4155, it's kind of hard to tell like how far out I can go because there are like bushes grown up. But if I can go through with the 4155, I can see how the land rolls, whether I can get in there with this and then I can just kind of reach as far as as far out as I possibly can. Cause that's one of the reasons why I wanted this more is to try to push the mower out or the pasture out and kill down some of that brush. Because after we had logged the pastures off, it just, the brush has taken over. And that's one thing where this thing comes in handy too, is because of all the tree stumps that are out there. There's a lot of places that I can't go with the 4155 where I just can't pick it up high enough with this thing. If I can get out to the, to the stump, I can reach way past it. And I think that's going to be pretty useful. So with that, I'll let you all go. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, ask them down in the comments section. Um, not sure what we're going to be doing here later this week. I know that Kurt Manufacturing is coming down. Um, we're shooting a commercial for, the, for them. and um, Or they're sh shooting a commercial on the farm, I should say. And um, that should be pretty fun. And next month we have a TV show coming to the farm as well. And I'm also really looking forward to that. So I'll let you all go for the third time. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And be sure to stay tuned for upcoming videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. Thanks for watching, guys.